Hello and welcome back to Fit Life with Alicia. It is another beautiful summer morning and I am up getting ready to go get my workout in and I thought I would just record a little kind of short video. Um, I am not normally a morning person. I have always been a night owl, especially from the time I was a teenager. Of course, most teenagers are, right? But I never grew out of that. Um, in my 20s and my 30s, I would stay up late. I had things I wanted to do and kids finally in bed. And so I felt like I finally had time to myself to do things I wanted to do or really just to relax. And a lot of times that was sitting up and watching my favorite TV show or something like that. And so I would rarely go to bed before midnight. And that worked for me. I was okay with that. I enjoyed it. And then, um, unless of course during the school year, I had to be up getting kids ready for school. But in the summertime, I would sleep in. I wouldn't usually get up before eight o'clock or so. And but over the last couple of years, I have well, really over the last ten years, I have tried to um, kind of shave down a little bit my night owlishness. That's not a word, but um, trying to go to bed a little earlier, get up a little earlier, and I would do good for a while, and then I would get off and get off track, and um, never really able to to keep up with it. And I feel like with the things I want to do with my life, the person I want to be, it's important to get an early start to the day, and to so that I can get the things that I want to get done and really um, early morning before my family and my kids get up is a really productive time for me if I can make myself do it and that's you know getting up at six in the morning which is early it's not super early for a time I was trying to do five in the morning and I did well with that for a while and then I kind of fizzled and whatever. So it's summertime again, and I have goals and things I need to accomplish. And the day gets away from me so, so fast. And so I am working really hard to uh, become a morning person and not waste the day away sleeping the first half of the first half, the first hour or two of the day away sleeping when I could be getting things done without my kids feeling like they're being neglected. Or me feeling like I'm neglecting them, I guess I should say. I do worry when I'm working on other things and telling them to entertain themselves, find something to do. Mom's busy. Um, if I can get an hour or even two in of working on my stuff, then I feel like I can give more time to my kids during the day, which feels really good to me um, on both accounts. I get my stuff done, then I have time for them. Whereas if I sleep in, then I feel like if I do my stuff, I feel guilty and I feel bad, but if I don't do my stuff and I spend time with my kids, then I'm feeling like, oh, but what about me? What about, you know, these things that are important to me that I want to work on? So the solution is to get up earlier. And I actually really enjoy it when I do it. So today I want to share one thing that works really well for me, and maybe this won't work for you, but I just want to share that it is possible to break that habit, and I wouldn't even call it a bad habit, but just break that habit of um, being a night owl and sleeping in when you really want to become a morning person, and it is not easy to do. It's something that, like I said, 10 years I've kind of been on again, off again with it, and this one kind of tip uh, works really well for me and I really enjoy it and I actually look forward to waking up early. So here it is. I get up. Most days I try to get up at six. The sun is just starting to come up. It's beautiful. For me, it's still cool here in the morning. I get up and I make myself a cup of tea and I take it out to my front porch and I sit out there and it's peaceful <clears throat> and I can think about my day, I can think about my goals, I can do my gratitude, and I can, those are things that are really important to me. I'm just sitting there and it feels like maybe I'm not accomplishing very much, but if I'm really focusing on what it is I want to do with my day, what it is I want to do with my life, what's important to me, and then also really focusing on things I'm grateful for, this 
is the perfect way for me to start my day. I start out peacefully and quiet and I do that for about an hour. I spend some time just enjoying being outside, thinking about those things that are, that are important to me and thinking about the things I want to do and the things I want to accomplish. And then after that hour, I go get my workout in and usually I can do, I can have about two hours to myself before my kids are up and life is crazy and chaotic again. And so for me, waking up, making my little cup of tea, taking it out to the front porch and just enjoying nature, taking in the fresh air and the beautiful views and just being outside for me is always very soothing. Um, I used to try and wake up and get right to my workout or get right to the gym. And while that does work for me, and sometimes I do still do that on a regular basis, <clears throat> it's hard for me to keep that up. It's hard for me to just jump right into my day and just get going. I'm kind of a more laid back person. And so taking a more laid back approach to my mornings actually has helped me so much. And it's given me the time to focus on those things that are important to me, gratitude um, and my goals and the things I want to accomplish for the day and, and after that. And so this works super well for me. Uh, I know some people are jump out of bed, get right to their workout or get right to something. But for me, taking like a peaceful approach and easing myself into the day, that works really, really well for me. Maybe this won't work for you. Maybe your kids are up really, really extra early. But I guess I just want to share what does work for me and that it is possible to find something that suits you. And it might not be the norm, like jumping out of bed and running to the gym or whatever it may be. You kind of have to think out of the box sometimes. If you've tried things that haven't worked, uh, you know, try to think about you. Think about your personality. Think about what what suits you better And for me, taking just that more peaceful, more easygoing uh, approach to starting my day, I actually really look forward to it. And I'm enjoying getting up early, which is huge because I hate it. I've always dreaded mornings. I've always dreaded waking up and, oh, you know, the drudgery of the day and all these things and that I have to do and kids. And usually when I would get up, my kids were already awake. I have older kids, not little kids anymore. And so, um, yeah, it would be waking up a little later and the day was already going without me. And so this really works well for me and I'm able to accomplish a lot and it feels good. It feels right. So I would encourage you to take some time to think about what what would feel good to you? You know, maybe you're an artist or a writer or, um, I don't know, maybe you're a runner, maybe getting up and running first thing in the morning is your thing. I don't know, but you know, what do you enjoy? What, what makes you feel relaxed? What makes you feel happy? What makes you feel peaceful and get up and do that very first thing in the morning. If you're not a morning person and I'm pretty late to the game on this and, Uh, I think most people are not um, sleeper inners like I have always been. And so, yeah, if this is something you struggle with, think about you. Think about what would actually work for you. What sounds nice to you? This sounds nice to me. What I do sounds really nice to me, and I really, really enjoy it. And it feels just like a really good way for me to start my day every day. And, and like I said, I get actually excited about it. So yeah, that's my tip for today. <clears throat> I hope that maybe that could help somebody out there. If you found some value to this video or any of my other videos, please hit subscribe, hang out with me. I try to make two or three videos a week and come see if there's anything useful. And if you have found something that works for you, if you've not always been a morning person, but you've figured out what works for you, share in the comments what works for you. Let's keep a conversation going on this. Maybe we can help each other out. And yeah, I just want to thank you for being here and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks. Bye.